Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be talking about Serena Williams skincare routine. Now if you're new to my channel, my name is April and I talk about all things skincare. I'm gonna hopefully start talking about nutrition pretty soon. And also I talk about celebrity skincare routines and react to them. And yeah, if you're interested in all things skincare, keep watching. I'm really excited about Serena's skincare routine because ah, she's Serena. I'm almost afraid to get into the video just because i feel like you know she's everyone's fave and i'm kind of afraid to say something bad about her skincare but it has to be done so let's get into it so are you ready to get unready with me the first step in my routine uh when i'm taking off my makeup and coming undone is I actually do something totally different. I use coconut oil because it's like amazing. I use it for everything you can think of. This I actually got in Australia. It's super raw, it's super organic. Now this is gonna seem totally insane, but I like literally slather it all over my face. You might not wanna try this at home. So I take like a bunch of coconut oil and I like literally just like rub it like all over my face. So I do my lips. You know, I do like under my eyes. This can literally be your only step if that's all you want. You can see the makeup getting on my robe because it's just like coming off. And I just heard that oil washes are good. I'm like, I've been doing that for years. Also have like, I travel a lot. So I travel with one of these little washies. Now that my little spongy bungee is wet, I can um, kind of start wiping it off. Now, after I do it once, you do it twice just to make sure you got everything. Olympia, who's my daughter, actually does the routine with me. And it's safe for kids too, because she can like put it on her face. She's only one and a half and she loves it. So that's step one. Okay, you guys, first of all, I'm shook at the amount of coconut oil that she's putting on. Like, I don't know. I just, no, that's not gonna work for me because I mean, she did mention that she's combo too dry, so. I guess that it's okay. She might also have like small pores, but for me, I have combo, but more on the oily side skin. So that's not gonna work for me. I mean, coconut oil is comedogenic, so it will clog your pores, especially if you have bigger pores, uh, which a lot of people that are not taking care of their skin do have. Uh, they might have bigger pores. So this will literally just soak right into your skin. And it's an oil, it's gonna clog it up and just not let air and other like sebum and stuff come out of your skin. So absolutely not if you are oily or even combo skin and or if you just have bigger pores. Just don't try this at home, guys. I saw a couple of those videos where people were saying, you know, why is she using this on her daughter and stuff too. I'm not going to comment on that just because that's her child. She can do what she wants, but I probably wouldn't do that to my child. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm not with this coconut oil part. Just no, I'm not, I'm not feeling that. I travel a lot. So I actually found this on my baby moon in Mexico. I ran across this product called Vine Vera and I became insanely obsessed with it. So apparently you have to use vitamin C on your face. At the time I didn't know. So I just do a two, a couple dabs and I always give Olympia some dabs and then just put it on your face. At least with the serum, all the other products that I use later will set in. My routine is crazy fast. Once I'm done with the coconut wash, it's really fast. So I do that all done. Um, then I move on to another Vine Vera product. Hey you guys, the second product is a vitamin C serum and vitamin C is great, but I just can't get my mind off of the fact that she didn't wash her face after using coconut oil. Oh my gosh, she literally has still so much oil in her skin. I mean, she might have small pores, but come on, that's still oil. Like, you know, there's still so much oil on her face and probably some makeup still. I just, ugh. And now she put the serum on top of that. So the serum probably wouldn't even be able to soak into her skin because there's still so much oil on there and still makeup. Yeah, no, I mean, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Just don't put serum on top of oil. It should be the other way around, if anything. Definitely not my favorite for sure, no. Absolutely not. Don't try this at home again. Um, but yeah, vitamin C other than that is great for you. It's great brightener. It's a great antioxidant. Fights against free radicals. I love vitamin C. Great for hyperpigmentation as well. Just an amazing product. All right, let's move on. 
It is actually an eye serum. So I did my face serum. Now I have to do an eye serum. So just put the eye serum under my eye here, which helps the next stage kind of set in. Not the greatest fan of eye serums. I actually just got this uh, eye patches that I really like. So this is great for like firming your skin and more inexpensive alternative, if you will. I also love like jade rollers for your under eyes to increase puffiness and stuff like that. So yeah, not the greatest eye serum, eye gel person, just don't see me for that. I mean, if you do have savvy skin, then maybe definitely go for it, but definitely, you know, meet up with your dermatologist or esthetician or whoever, and just make sure that that's the right move for you. The next is like this MZ Skin. So I found this in London. I was in Harrods and I was walking by and I saw this really cool packaging and it was like pink and gold and I love gold and I love pink. They're like my favorite colors and I was like, I'm definitely gonna try that product out. It must be amazing if it's pink and gold. And it actually is, it's MZ Skin. I'm using two products by them as well. So you just put the eye thing under your eye. So then I leave this on. Typically you wanna leave it on for like 10 minutes. Usually I like to sit down in my, my room or whatever with, my, with Olympia and I watch Finding Nemo because she watches that like a million times and then I think I can repeat these movies. But then what I like to do is I like to take my coconut oil again because coconut oil is the best. I use it in my hair, I use it on my legs, you know. It's a drying agent, it can dry out your hair so don't do that too much. But you know, look, now my lips are refreshed. Lips are popping. Normally I'd leave this on for 10 minutes, but so you guys don't die of boredom, I'm gonna take this off. And that's like a bright, golden bright eye treatment, because I'm like, I hate dark circles around my eyes, so I try to get serious about treating my eyes. So then... Hey you guys, like I said, I just got the eye patches. I am still testing it out. I definitely felt my skin a lot firmer and definitely felt a lot like, just like you know more put together and if you have saggy skin i think this might be good for you um i don't know i just started using it so i can't really speak much of it but i've definitely heard a lot of good reviews about eye patches so go for it i go back to another product by mz skin again i got this in london I actually like literally have it shipped from london because it's the only place i know to buy it so so i put the eye treatment under my eye Sometimes when I'm traveling, I even put this on my face because I feel like whatever you're using under your eye is like super moisturizing and it could work for the whole face. That's why I don't have a lot left. That means I need to order some more. But so I just kind of mix it up. I make it my own. It's so important to make your beauty routine your own and just kind of own it. And honestly, I, I have a little like five o'clock shadow. Um, so I put it on top of my, mu my mustache. <laughs> But like I hit 30 and after that like everything is becoming either mustache or beard So let's just be honest ladies So I do that there too because I think if it's brightening it then maybe it'll brighten that too I hit my little mustache I Like I have more hair sometimes than my nephew down there Okay, I again I'm not a fan of eye gels, eye complex gels, whatever it is Just not my thing but I mean who knows tomorrow I might become a huge fan of it it's just not something I've, you know, been bothered to be invested in, maybe because I don't have dark circles like that. But if you do, definitely go for it. But yeah, she's definitely going for it and putting it all over her, under her eye, all on her mustache, because we all have it, and just all over her face. And yeah, I'm here for it. Go ahead and do this if it's if it's your cup of tea, just not mine. From LA, so I got this from this doctor in LA, Dr. Raj. He's amazing. And I tend to have more combination of dry skin. So this enrichment cream is really, really good for me. Um, he has lots of different creams, but I particularly like this one because it's good for my skin. So lather up. Really important to get the top of my forehead. I always get my neck too, which is so important. We always forget our neck. Enrichment cream, I'm guessing, is a moisturizer of some sort. I don't hate it. I think that, I mean, I just can't get over the fact that she has all this oil on her face and it's just like not soaking into her skin. So it's just kind of just sitting there on the top surface of her skin and I'm just not feeling it. I mean, everything else she's done so far, I don't mind it, but it just before all of that, just at least wash your skin and get rid of all the makeup and oils. And it's just better for product penetration. Definitely, definitely, definitely do not put oil first on your skin and then put a bunch of products because what happens is it just sits there and does nothing and your skin doesn't show any improvement at all. The last thing I'm gonna do today 
and sometimes honestly it varies I'm not that routine kind of girl um, I have my Mario Badesco I absolutely love this stuff my best friend introduced me to it and she says she uses it to um, set her makeup so I actually use this to set my makeup and it gives me this crazy glow but I always use it at night too because I just like the way it smells it's rose water. I love rose water. I love anything rose water. In fact, roses are my favorite flower, so it's perfect. So then I just spray it like I'm in France because you just spray a lot. I like to pretend a lot. And that's my nightly routine. Okay, guys, uh, I don't hate rose water. I actually really like the Mario Badescu rose water. It could be a toner, but it's more like a refresher for your skin. Yeah, honestly, I don't hate the routine. I love everything that she did except for that coconut oil. It's just, no, it's a no, okay? <laughs> but yeah, um, not bad. I'm actually happy that I didn't get to freak out about her routine. I don't know what I expected, but I know that I, I don't know, I just kind of expected something out of the blue or I don't know, but yeah, not bad. Just Serena, just stay away from coconut oil because prolonged use of that might actually cause a lot of damage to your skin. But I'm sure, I mean, she's rich. She definitely goes to experienced estheticians and dermatologists and her skin is fine. I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video today, definitely thumbs up and share, subscribe. You guys, I'm so happy that you guys supported me on this channel. It means everything to me and more. Thank you guys so, so much from the hearts of my hearts. I really appreciate it. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.